Hey, how did you feel about the uh, athletic director telling your coach publicly when you're out of here? Well, us as players, um, you know, we got to control what we can control. Uh, we focus on us and what we're supposed to handle. Um, Coach Sumlin doesn't go out there and play on Saturdays. That's what, you know, that's that's up to us. And we got to go out there and win. We've got to be better uh, as players. We've got to take that upon us to go out there and win games. And uh, that's all our main focus is, is right now, especially in the off season, is just uh, finishing games. Do you think it affected recruiting at all? Kids hear that and they go. Uh, personally, I don't think so. I'm um, not too much worried about that right now. Like I said, just focusing on the team that we're having right now and uh, focusing on this upcoming season. Christian, what did happen at the end of last year? I guess y'all got up to number, y'all were in the first playoff rankings, you know, in the top four, and then, yeah. the, and then the way y'all ended. What what kind yeah. of did happen down the stretch? Of well, you know, we uh, you know we battled some injuries, uh, but everybody battles injuries, you know, especially in the middle of the season. And you know, when you go to the SEC gauntlet, uh, you know, that's on us to stay healthy. Uh, doing the right things off the field in preparation and recovery uh, to make sure that we're fielding all the guys that we need to to be able to go out there and win. And uh, like I said, that's on us, um, you know, being able to go out there and win those games. And to be a top team in the SEC, you got to be able to go up and, and play those LSUs, the Alabamas on the second half of the team, the, the second half of the season, especially when you're banged up. So uh, that's been an you know, emphasis on us is just doing you know, all the little things to be able to finish in that back of the season. And as a receiver, what's it been like as far as not just having the stability, I guess, since Manziel left? It seems like it's been somebody different every year, and, and, right. and you've had a different quarterback every year. How, right. how difficult has that been on you and the other receivers? It hasn't been too difficult. Uh, we've been able to set a standard, you know, once Coach Moorhead got it, you know, came in and took over the receiver group, you know, my freshman year after Coach Beatty left. Uh, we set a really high standard in that room. And, uh, you know, I believe, believe that we've been able to live up to that standard and uh, just make plays. You know, the quarterback's job is to put in our area. we got to go make those plays. And the SEC is going to be making, you know, competitive catches, you know, every every down. Um, we've got to make those 50-50 balls. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things that we focus on. So, uh, you know, we just got to, you know, make sure we're staying on the timing-wise, and especially this summer and in fall camp going into the season. <laughs> Uh, it's frustrating, you know, as a competitor, you know, those are the type of games you want to win, especially when you were in the position, or us as a you know, team were in the position uh, to be able to, you know, lead that game and, uh, you know, have a chance to win. And then, uh, you know, we had some mistakes, some small, small mistakes that, you know, had a big, you know, outcome on the game. So, uh, that's a, you know, it just goes back to doing the little things right, um, late penalties, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it's frustrating, like I said, but you know, it's something that you got to keep in your back of your mind and use of motivation. Christian, were you one of them so much more bad? They expose it. Um, you know, for us, you know, in our situation, uh, we had them backed up. It was third and 13. They were about to punt. And, uh, you know, we were able to get to the quarterback, and then we get a penalty for hands in the face. And then now they get a first down, and they go down to score, and they're in the lead again. So little things like that, they take advantage of. They don't make mistakes, and you can't make mistakes against them. So, um, you know, you just have to go out there and make sure you're on point at all times. Speaking of that Alabama game, uh, Mac Wilson had a couple of big hits. What do you remember from those? And as a return guy yourself, did those kind of stick with you? Um, you know, I wasn't the specific returner that, you know, um, you know, was turning that ball, but you know, he made a great play. That's a big time hit, and uh, you know, those are the type of hits that you got to expect to take when you're playing um, top tier teams like that in the SEC. Um, every week, they got guys like that running down there, big 250 pound linebackers running down, um, trying to take your head off. But you know, that's you know on us as a return group, make sure everybody does their job and get their blocks. Christian, were you one of the underclassmen that got to work out for NFL scouts in the spring? Uh, we didn't work out. Uh, all we did was just get our measurements and uh, you know do a couple of interviews. What are your thoughts about the possibility of entering the draft as an underclass? Uh, it's nothing that I'm worried about right now. Just focus on you know trying to have the most successful season right now, and uh, you know trying to go win a championship. Focus on this team and make sure I'm the best leader and best teammate I can be. Christian, uh, Coach Sumlin was talking about his old days as a wide receiver coach. Has he taken on with your group of receivers? Has he taken on more or less? You know. Uh, uh, he's definitely taken on more um, than in the past or since I've been, you know, at AM. Uh, he's always over there when we're doing one on ones or leash drills. Uh, he's always out there teaching us, uh, you know, the nuances that he knows and just giving us little tips here and there. Uh, he spends a lot of time over there with the offense. So, um, you know, he's been more involved than, you know, I've seen in the past. And, uh, you know, he's really on a mission. You know, I've seen a lot from him. 
um, just you know him just getting on track and uh, you know being more involved with us on the field. And, uh, he's definitely on a mission this year and uh, has a plan for us. Do you feel like that November, the last couple of seasons, there has been this tailspin or tail off with you guys? I mean, what's the common thing that you need to change to have a stronger, you know, finish to the season? Right, I think, uh, you know, obviously one is, you know, the injuries, just limiting those injuries, injuries you know, especially with, amongst our, our starters. Uh, but I think another thing is just staying locked in. You know, that, that back half of the season is a grind. It's not an excuse. Um, you know, it's the later part of the school and classes. You know, you got a lot of homework and stuff off the field you got to deal with. In your body, you know, you're just naturally tired. Um, but like I said, the great teams, you know, are able to focus on that. And when they go to work, they go to work. And when they step on the field on Saturday, they go win. So that's something we got to focus on. What do you appreciate more, a, a touchdown reception or a touchdown special teams play? Oh, I, uh, I probably, you know, appreciate punt return more. Just because, you know, they don't happen as often. And uh, I, uh, I really respect the guys, you know, that go out there and, and block from their punt return. And just all the guys that go on special teams in general. You know, a lot of guys, they think of special teams, they, you know, think they don't have a big, important role in the game. But special teams is the most important facet in the game. And those guys that go out there and, and block for me, they're the reason why I get in the end zone. So I appreciate that a lot. Do you have a favorite highlight play in your time there? Um, I would say my uh, my point return against Mississippi State was probably my favorite one, just because it's the longest and uh, it was in a you know big time you know part of the game and, and play that we needed to be made. And you know as a group we stepped up and, and made that play. Talking to a lot of the kids over at State Seven on Seven back in Texas, when you ask them who do they want to model themselves after, who do they look up to, the overwhelming answer is you. And your third season, do you see yourself as kind of that all that guy that's kind of uh, the, the the front of the magazine kind of guy, or is it is it weird to look back on your career so far and kind of see where you've come and how people view you. Yeah, I think it's just, uh, you know, it just all comes with hard work. And, you know, the hard work has been able to put me in the place where I'm at today. Um, you know, being on the front of the magazine, Spotlight and all that, that's not something that I seek out. That's not why I do it. I do it just because, you know, I want to be the best player and best person that I can be. I want to be, you know, a good example for, obviously, the young stars that are going up today, but more importantly, my teammates, and, you know, show them, uh, show them the way, you know, especially with the guys that are struggling maybe in a couple of facets. Um, you know, to make sure to guide them and make sure that they're getting better every day. So I try to carry myself on and off the field to the best of my ability to represent the university and my family.